Uh, my name is Mark Griffin. I do filmmaking and video editing, photography. I do a little bit of graphic design. Really, I suppose that took after my father with the with the um, engineer doing uh, fixing machines, this and that. Then I got into football. Then I really thought about it. I say, I, when I get into my mid 30s, 40s, I don't want to be running up and down the field. So I got into art, drawing. I used to draw a lot. And then that led me into doing videos. Me and a high school friend, you just go out and make videos, laugh at a little audience back when MySpace was up. So I kind of got into that until I ran into a group of friends that used to do music. Say, hey, shoot a video for me, this and that. Say, I don't know how to shoot no videos. But I had a camera and I had a laptop. So we ended up doing that. Uh, that from a club, that's actually the, the clothing side of it. Okay. All the merchandise. Uh, that from my entertainment, that has the films. And we're working with music artists, like doing artist development, shooting videos commercials, covering events. We're going to start on short films. I'm a big movie head, so I'm like probably the only person you said you would hear about that actually watch the credits, the behind the scenes. I go from the main menu to the bloopers and all that. So I got into a mood where I'm like, man, I know I can do that or oh, I knew I can make better this or better that. So that's when I start really getting into it. But um, like I was saying with the with my friend, I, my pops bought me a camcorder. I just used to record homemade videos, edit it, upload it to the audience I had and keep doing that. I just love doing it. So we was out doing it like four times a week um, some high school friends, they said to make a, a music video for them. I said, I don't know how to make music videos, but I try. The video we shot, looking at it, this day is trash. But at that time, everybody liked it when we put it out. So from then, I'm like, all right, people are liking it like this. I, I probably can do something with it. I mean, I already wanted to make movies, but I was I never thought about doing music videos. So then I thought I can use the music videos to fund to get the equipment to make the movies. So I just started studying more. We ended up shooting another music video. They liked that even more. So from then I said, I need a company. So came with a bunch of names where Daphima, it's really pronounced Diffima. Is a Latin word for spread or to make known, but I just put my little spin on it. I mean, it's a, it's a passion for me. In the same time, I want to inspire other people. Or I know how I look at a movie, a movie like I watched a movie yesterday. I got motivated off of that to to do whatever I love. Or films, you can. Doing films, even music videos or movies, you can inspire people to do this or do that, and that's why I want to use my talent to do. Okay. Camera of choice. Um, I started off. No, first I started off with a uh, a J. What is it? Uh, one of them hell hands from Walmart. Uh, JVC. Yeah, it's a silver joint. Um, from there. When I say I'm going to take it more serious, I upgrade it to a Canon 60D. And that's what I've been shooting with, the pictures, videos. Recently, I upgraded to the Blackmagic. It's a um, Blackmagic cinema camera. Um, I think I'm going to stick with them because I, I kind of like it. So I, I suppose to be working on getting a, it's a Blackmagic Ursula camera. So. Okay, okay. When, when that time come around. But me... I have to see the clients. I don't know, I'm marketing towards a different group or whatever, because I know, like, if I run out here and say they want to shoot a video, that I, 
probably not gonna have the budget for a camera for like eight, seven grand. Uh, so right. it's no no rush in getting it. Yeah. Get <laughs> gotcha. But working on my working on the films I want to work on, that's what I want. So I'm gonna be sticking with Black Magic. When I first started doing it, music videos I was putting out, there was a lot of older people contacting me that I didn't know, saying I like your work, this and that, or you inspire me to do this and do that. You're young, you're getting this done and getting that done. So from them seeing what I'm doing and saying I'm motivating to them or, or people that don't even know me, taking the time out, telling me this is good, I like what you're doing, keep doing it. That's good enough for me. I say when I started, I didn't really look at the business side of it. It was just me, passion for film, recording, doing this. I, I, I never, I never took the time out to look at the marketing and the, everything else that comes along. I'm just shooting videos, getting paid for it, this and that. So for like a year or two, like the previous year or two, I kind of just fell back just reading books on marketing, the business. I started, I had, went to school, get some little classes, um, because I didn't, I look back and I say, I don't really see a growth in the company or whatnot. So I said, maybe I need to market to another crowd or learn more of the business side of it. So I can go where I wanna go. Uh, I wanna be looked at as, a motivator. I know like in doing films, especially out here, a lot of people, well first of all you'll get like bad feedback on it, it's a waste of time or you gotta have a certain amount of money to start off and this and that so a lot of people don't really pursue that from real from real. They'll work their nine to five and they'll do it like as a hobby or instead of really going at it. I ain't saying quit your job or nothing like that, but what you put in at your nine to five, put in at doing your movies or whatnot. Cause I met a guy, not gonna say his name. Um, he seen my work. He's like, I really like that. I really like that you started out young, this and that. I used to do that type of work before I started doing construction, this and that. But he wasn't getting back. He wasn't getting the, I can say the, it wasn't going as good for him with that at the time, so he just cut it out, period. So now he got back into it after he got his other company successful. So, I mean, never, never too late to start.